mink, 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 ah, uh, Hello, and welcome to the stream. Normally, I put up a picture of, um, an image of the README stream, the uh, Emacs file, that tells us what we're going to do today. Uh, but today, I thought I would put up a picture of what apparently is Milkister Moo. Uh, or, if you don't believe that, it is, um... This is actually what fur coats look like in the uh, in the youth stage. This is a young fur coat. Um, but this has nothing to do with what we're doing today. Um, previously, I had given up on Wolfram script because it sucked, um, and and it does suck. So I'm not I'm not saying that it doesn't. Um, but unfortunately, the the competing suckiness here is is this. And it was just sort of a, a pain to use, and I forget why. Uh, I mean, Wolfram script sucked, but I forget exactly why I stopped using it. Um, it, is, it would be a lot easier to have something locally in a file that I could run, um, and then not get like new instantiations. New um, wow, didn't want to do that. Okay. Um, the upshot of all this is we're going to give it another shot here. And I could have sworn I'd created files for, um, um, did I create a COVID? Probably did, didn't I? And now we have the whole issue of whether or not to put this in the COVID directory or in the Mathematica directory. So we'll just say, um, well, I'll just say COVID dot, dot Wolfram language script, WLS. Uh, and then we'll just do this. And the sort of nice thing about this is if it works, which, which it won't, but I mean, if it were to work, uh, we could do everything sort of from the, um, from the command line, and I will try to give an example here. Um, and that way we don't have to go into the cloud every time, but I get the feeling this is going to mess up really badly. But, and I actually did review some of my old videos, and I could have sworn that, although I could have sworn that I created a WLS script somewhere, I couldn't find one. So let me so try something really ugly. I'm going to kill the SSHFS, which might destroy everything. And then look here to see if I have a... Um, this is the un... Um, this is the thing that's actually local. It's not... Um, this is... Um, oh, wow. So this is what we had before without the mount. And... Boy, is it ugly. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, okay, so now the problem is, of course, I don't want all, everything in startup. I just want this. Now, hopefully, I did that in a way that did not destroy anything. I, I seriously doubt that's true, though. Okay, well, that's okay so far. So, what I want to do here is, like, Wolfram script minus file... I think I have to say minus cloud here, but let's not worry about that for the moment. Um, okay, and and I know there's a reason I don't want to use this, and I don't remember what it is, and I'm going to feel stupid when I do. So, I think I can say just cloud here to get rid of that. Okay. Um, that doesn't obviously do anything, because I put a semicolon after it. Now, let's see. This is probably where it's going to break. I want to list plot the deaths. And, of course, the problem is... Um, uh, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. Um, so that that's where it's screwed up, is because the list plots go nowhere. But, believe it or not, there might be a way around this. And... Very, very ugly... In, uh, in in the regular Mathematica script that I have, vclib.m, there is something called a show it, or there should be something called a show it. Yeah, there we are. Um, basically, it converts something that Mathematica can show uh, into a file locally. Unfortunately, it just occurs to me that there might not be such a thing as a local file here because we are running it in the cloud. Um, Um, so that that's something I didn't think about. So list plot deaths can't get a list plot here. Um, 
Now there might be a way around this using some of the cloud functions or something. Um, so let's do this. Let's just say, let's just call this P and let's just do export. Um, let's see. Display for export. Temp. I, I think I've tried this before and it didn't, doesn't work. Plot dot, uh, let's call it PNG, I guess. Uh, P. Now let's see what this does. This should not, I do not expect this to work. If it does work, we can create a wrapper that does work even better, but let's see. Um, yep, no directory slash temp does not exist. Because once again, it's trying to do everything in the cloud. Um, so... Let's plot that, let's put this, yes, okay, there's no such file. Now I wonder if there's like a local export option. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, instead of doing anything with the COVID virus, which, and by the way, the title of this stream is, is kind of hinting that Wolfram script sucks so badly, it is itself a virus, although in this case, a computer virus, not a human virus, although it's pretty damn annoying and painful. So, you never know. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... I like this picture of Milkister Moo too much. Um, let's go ahead and over here... Um, using Wolfram script, this should lead us to a uh, page that Mathematica has on command line. And I get the feeling it's going to be... Oh, okay, here it is. Unfortunately, I get the feeling it's going... Oh. What the hell's wrong here? Um, um, well, this kind of sucks that I can't add a... Um, this is very bad. Um, maybe we should make this just like this, though. Um, let's see if I can, despite what they say, I will accept the risk and continue. Oh, here we are. That is very strange. Uh, so we don't, we don't have it downloaded, by the way, that's not the issue. Um, so this is telling us that we can put it into a script, like I've done, run commands with it. So far, so good. The problem is going to be when we have, um, things that are not, things that are images or uh, cannot be returned as text. Um, work with files. Oh, okay, so this is actually not too bad. Work with files and data on the command line using Wolfram Cloud. This is good stuff. Okay. Um... Producing a text file using the cloud. So what this appear apparently does here is it runs it in the cloud, but then it redirects the output to samples.txt. I'm pretty sure they're, they're actually going to allow us to... Oh, come on. Seriously, that's an image. Um, okay, show this plot samples. Ooh. Well, well, well. And let's go ahead and use their, uh, their, their, um, this is called a hash bang. It's the path to the program you're supposed to run. So let's just call this, this one does have to be in Mathematica. Um, and because we're copying somebody else's code, we don't have to, <coughs> excuse me, we don't have to, uh, give it my, give it my name. All right, so now let's see what happens if we do... Um, Mathematica, and I think we should just do, right, and I think there's a slight problem here, which I think we can fix. Uh, that's one part of the problem. The other part of the problem is I, I think you need a new line between, um, okay, or we just need to fix this to be bin 
pretty sure this should work now. It is Ben Wolfram's script, right? Samples. Okay, maybe it, it. I mean, maybe just this. Ugh. I thought that doing it in the shell would actually. Uh, would Env work? Env work. Oh. That's a much better error message, though. So let's let's do. Um, okay, that's much better. Yeah, I get the feeling this may be the problem here. Uh, let's see. Find path WS using the cloud kernel with the following content. Uh, samples equal what the. F Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess we also need something called samples.txt, which they don't give us. Oh, oh, I see. We have to do this first. Now, the sort of sad thing here is uh, we can't do this all inside of the... We have to do it inside of multiple files. So that is sort of a pain in the ass. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and create our... Just for testing purposes. Minus cloud... And unfortunately, because this is an image, um, I can't uh, cut and paste. Random real... Oh, come on, man, really? <sighs> Motherfucker. Table, random real. 1,000... One, oh, come on, really? A pair of them... And I guess, was it 20? And so if I do this without a for without format JSON, it's going to be just th that. Okay. That format JSON did not really seem to do anything. Maybe I need to capitalize it. But anyway, we, we will move it over to temp samples.txt. And let's see if that looks any more JSON-y. Oh, it does. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so then we should be able to do... Oh. Yep, this. Okay. And that presumably... Wow. And so now... I think I've broken the... Um, Oh, come back here. Okay. So that is how you could... Um, that is really, really messy. Um, okay, but let's see if we can actually store things in the Wolfram cloud and then copy the files over. It's, it's a little bit ugly, but if we can functionalize that, we're in okay shape. So this just shows that basically you have to run multiple Wolfram scripts to get what you want and get something like this. Um, and let's see. Those are a different kind of cookies. Okay. This, is there more? Nope, don't want cookies. Not that, that kind anyway. Um, let's see. See what we can do here. Yes. So I guess what we're looking for is functions in the cloud that let us sort of copy back and forth um, between the cloud and local files. And I don't know if that's even possible. Um, okay, this looks kind of interesting, but I get the feeling this is not what we think it is. Um... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> um, so I don't think this is what we're looking for. Um,
So I guess the functions we need to find are uh, the functions that let you copy files back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm, I'm disheartened. We're going to end this stream and we're not going to even count it.